Hello, welcome to the encouraging word of today. Today is Tuesday. It is July the 26th. We're going to pick up here in the wonderful encouraging word of God. And as we do, picking up in Matthew chapter 20 today, Matthew chapter 20, and bringing July uh, close to a close. It's unbelievable how fast time is flying and how fast we are moving uh, through the book of Matthew. Uh, but as we pick up in chapter 20, the Lord Jesus Christ coming off the heels of this conversation about those who've given up more than others and and we've been following longer and blah 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 and the Lord comes along and says listen uh, regardless of what you receive in this life the goal is the gift of salvation eternal life and he ended that in verse 29 he says everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wives or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. And then he says, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And so he's going through the span of time that salvation is coming uh, to all who will receive it. And all who receive salvation get the same gift, the gift of eternal life. It's the gift of the presence of the Father with them forever and ever and ever. And so he comes along in chapter 20 and tries to break this down in a parable that they may be able to understand. And certainly uh, they did not understand, as, as we see, but uh, he does explain it to them so that they can understand later. So here's what Matthew chapter 20 and verse 1 says. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is like a householder, which he went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny, so this is very early in the morning, he goes out, he uh, hires people, and they agree to work for a denarius, a penny. That is a day's wage. It's a full day's wage. And so he says he went out there and he and they agreed uh, and he sent them into the vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw a uh, worker standing idle in the market and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right I will give to thee. And, and they went their way. And he went out again about the sixth and the ninth hour and did so likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why you stand here all day idle? And they said, Because no man hath hired us. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall you receive. So when the evening was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his servants, Call the laborers and give to them their hire, beginning from the last to the first. So I'm going to now that they've worked and, and they've worked from the different groups from, from early in the morning till nine, till, till noon, till three, till five. And so that's the group periods as we break it down in scripture. So some began early in the morning, some began at nine, some began at noon, some began at three, some began at five. And he says, and I'm going to pay you uh, what is right. And so uh, they were, they all agreed. They all went out to the field and they all worked. Those who worked from early in the morning, those who came in at the last of the day. But nevertheless, and he says, you start giving them their pay from the last to the first. And when they came, that were hired about the last hour. That's the that last hour. They received every man a penny. So they got a full day's wage and they only worked an hour. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house. See, when we get salvation, we get all that we ever need. It's not about how much more we're going to get because we've been saved longer or we've done more. No, salvation is the goal. It is the key. It's not in how much you get in this life. <laughs> it's about, uh, about you being able to go into the next life in perfect peace and harmony with God. And God is no respecter of persons. It doesn't matter how well or how, how little you have done, salvation is salvation. And God's gift to man is eternal life. And there's a varying, varying degrees in which we serve the Lord, but yet at the end of the day, it is the salvation that we look for. And so he says, and when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house and saying, these have wrought but one hour. And thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answered and said unto one of them, Friend, do I, uh, uh, do, uh, friend, do I thee no wrong? Did thou not agree with me for a penny? 
Take that thine is then, and go thy way, and I will give unto this last even as unto thee. It is not is it not lawful for me to do what I will will with my own? Is is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last, for many are called and few are chosen. And so the Lord offers salvation to all, and there's no way you can earn it. Uh, uh, the, there's no way for you to, to gather together. He's going to give out fairly to all uh, who receive it. And God calls us to the greatest gift we could ever receive. And that is the gift of his glorious salvation. Whether we come at the beginning of our lives or we come at the last minute of our lives. The point is, is that God wants us to be saved. And when he gives us that reward of salvation, he gives it to us full and free. But that's not to say we should wait <laughs> and we should uh, stand in line and, and, and hide from the master until the day that he comes and then jump out at the last minute and say, hey, here I am, hire me. Here I am, save me at the last minute. Well, most likely that person will miss the glories of heaven if that's their attitude toward the Lord and his gift of salvation. And so he's saying, listen, come. I promise you, I will be fair with you. I will give you exactly what you need. I promise I will provide eternal life for you. And there is the kingdom of heaven. And so I pray today that you take and meditate upon these truths that we find here in Matthew chapter 20 in the beginning of verses 1 through 16. It's a lot to ingest, but just go back and keep on meditating upon it and allow God to speak to your heart. But the greatest question is, is have you been given the gift of salvation? Have you received from the Lord that wonderful, wonderful gift? Well, don't try to compare it to others around you. Just relish in the gift that God has given to you. And go forth today mightily in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.